These days, the president's top economic advisor is delving into raw politics. Unless Republicans are willing to do more things to help the economy right now, then unemployment will stay too high. And if Congress, Republicans in Congress, come together with the administration and do things to help the economy, then we'll be stronger. They hold the key to whether this economy is stronger or weaker in the next three months, the next six months, the next nine months. We caught up with Timothy Geithner at an Intel manufacturing plant in Chandler, Arizona, a target state for the Obama campaign. The Treasury Secretary took a break from negotiating Europe's financial future to selling the president's jobs bill and the president's political message with unusual force. He slammed House Republicans' well, economic I proposals. I don't think there is a Republican plan for tax reform, and there's no Republican plan to create jobs and economic growth. And didn't shy away from campaign okay, politics so here on Mitt Romney's debt reduction plan. You can't cut your way to growth. We're in the middle of a very important debate about what the government can do and should do to help make the economy stronger. But it would make us weaker as a country for us to go out and try to cut our way to growth. Secretary Geithner defended the president's stewardship of the economy. Bottom line remains that the unemployment rate will be higher at the end of the president's first term than it, should than it was. Be. But no, but that's not a good word. That's not a fair way to think about it. It is improvement. The economy is in a, in a much stronger position today than when he took office because we was able to put out the financial fires and restart economic growth. As for the anger toward Wall Street and the fact that few fat cats have paid a price. Stay tuned. The final chapter of what's going to happen this way has not yet been written. The bottom line for Secretary Geithner, the biggest obstacles to U.S. economic recovery, the financial crisis in Europe, and Congress's inability to pass the jobs bill. Jessica Yellen, CNN, Washington.